Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna make fantastic bolognese sauce. This bolognese sauce you can use for your lasagna or you can make nice spaghetti bolognese with it. So let's get started because it's a lot of work, it's a lot of slicing. So what we need, in the beginning we need to slice our veg. What I've got in here, it's three cloves of garlic, two onions, some celery, one leek and two carrots. The more veg you're gonna put in your bolognese sauce, the tastier it's gonna be. So let's do it. Let's slice our garlic. onions and put everything in the pot you don't need to wash your garlic you don't need to wash your onions that's why they go straight in the pot just like that and then we're gonna slice the carrots and leeks they need to be washed before we put them so we can slice them first and then wash them Okay, now let's get cooking. So, the onions and garlic, they are already in the pot. We're gonna add some oil in there with some bay leaves, a touch of salt, a touch of fresh ground black pepper, and then we're gonna cook the meat. There's one kilo of minced beef very good quality beef in there and we're gonna fry everything together for about 15 minutes now when the meat is ready we're gonna add the veg one glass of water and let it simmer for about another 20 minutes Okay, after 20 minutes we're gonna add one glass of milk into it. Believe me, milk will make this uh, bolognese sauce really creamy and will make the meat very tender in the same time. So let it steam it for about another 20 minutes, nice and slowly, and then we're gonna add the herbs and tomatoes into it. And now we're adding the tomatoes. I'm gonna use the chopped tin tomatoes two tins of that and keep on cooking you want your bolognese sauce to be nice and thick so I think it's gonna take about 20 minutes I know it's quite a long time but when you make one batch then you can freeze it and leave it and you can take it out whatever you want mm. bolognese sauce is ready now I'm just gonna add some chopped parsley and basil in there so the flavor of the herbs will mix all together and also I can add some dry oregano into it mix everything together and your bolognese sauce is ready this is my bolognese sauce I know it's quite a lot to do and it takes a little bit of time to do it but if you do it like a big batch then you can freeze it or you can make nice lasagna with this or spaghetti bolognese whatever you want next time we're gonna make fantastic lasagna bolognese so thank you so much for watching and I see you next time